ready and committed to do what tonight it takes local to groups taking action US, and standing against um, Asian hate you're taking a live look at a virtual against. event going on right um, now so now similar it, events are happening across the country photos and messages with the hashtag stop Asian hate are being shared on social media this comes in the wake of the shootings in Atlanta that killed six Asian women and two other people Katie Crowther spoke with a young woman helping lead the effort locally. Alex Alfaro is the co-founder and CEO of Meat on the Street, bringing Filipino cuisine to Milwaukee. Growing up here in the city, she never understood the questions she was always asked. Always was, well, what are you or where are you from? And then I would be like, oh, you're asking my ethnicity, which doesn't mean that I'm not from America. It just means that I'm not Caucasian, and I am actually. I'm half Caucasian and I'm half Filipino. Alfaro is active with the local chapter of the Asian American Pacific Islander Initiative, which has called on leaders and community members to take a stand against the uptick in racism and crimes against Asian Americans. Nearly 3,800 anti-Asian hate incidents were reported to the Stop AAPI Hate website from March of last year to February of this year. All 50 states reported cases of verbal harassment and physical assault targeting Asian Americans. And Asian women reported more than twice as many cases as men. Cindy Chang, the director of the Asian American Studies Program at UW-Madison, says deep-rooted stereotypes were exacerbated by scapegoating during the COVID-19 pandemic. You're not part of this community, you're not part of this, you know, country. Assign blame on a group of people for this pandemic. And while this day of action and hashtag stop Asian hate is an important showing of solidarity, the real change will come from continued open, honest, sometimes difficult conversations. How to educate the public, how to educate your friends. Um, it's so important to talk about because a lot of the time our community feels extremely um, invisible and unheard and nobody wants to feel that. We all want to feel equally represented and that we all get to have a seat at the table and we're invited to. And equal representation is a responsibility that falls on all of us. In Milwaukee, Katie Crowther, TMJ4 News. And Katie mentioned some staggering numbers related to Asian hate, but sadly there are even more. Pew Research Center data shows more than half of Asian adults, 58%, say it's more common for people to express racially insensitive views about people who are Asian than before the COVID-19 outbreak.